Hi, everyone. Oh, it's so nice to see you all. Um, I'm going to mute everyone and um, just start to talk about this program. And then um, I've got some key talking points to go through. And, um, and then we'll have time for Q&A with me and Mother Mary. Um, so sit back and write down notes if you have questions. And um, if we didn't answer your questions, then we will during the Q&A. And I, I'm pretty sure I won't be talking much more than about 20 minutes for this hour that we have together. So um, welcome. Welcome to this uh, discussion about this program. It's a mastery level program that's designed for you if who, if you're ready to ignite your channel, your inner channel on a higher level, if you're ready to serve with readings from the Akashic Records with clients and loved ones, if you're really curious about Akashic Records for your own use, um, it is really geared toward working with others. So if you're, you know, that's one thing we could talk about. I mean, there's something to um, inner mastery, but um, and that is a guarantee with this, but the teaching is largely about working with others. So if any of those, you know, call to you, then of course, that's why you're here. If something else calls to you too, then let that be at the forefront. And, and, you know, there's all kinds of reasons one might, might wish to learn how to delve into the records. And certainly there's actually a calling, um, for a lot of you to really open your channel, especially in the readings I've been having the last few months, the, the, like everyone I do a reading for is, is known as a channel. And I, if I haven't said that to you, let it be known. That's why you're here and your channel is on and it's ready to expand. And so tonight, what I'm going to be talking about is some familiarity with what this four month program is about and and hopefully that'll answer many of your questions um familiarity with how we think about the akashic records now and use of them um i've got a new book that i've co-written with jennifer smallwood who's a therapist who's graduated from my program and she um she and i are super excited to share that and this methodology um, I've got two new teachers who are joining me teaching modules. Jennifer is one of them, and Dr. Carrie Taylor is another, who's going to be helping with um, teaching about how to manage your own physical, like we'll call them ascension symptoms or ascension activities, and also how to do that with clients. Because when we use Akashic Records access and so much deep access to this much caring love, it does pack a punch. And um, I mean, I think many of you are no strangers to that where there's physical symptoms that could be once thought about as ailments, but they're just energy moving through. So Carrie is a really an expert in the somatic experience. And she's gonna be sharing um, how she works with people in sessions to manage what goes on in the physical body as they become the mystic that they are born to be. And so much of this is about that, becoming the mystic that you're born to be. I would say if, you know, if you're here, um, that's, probably one of the bigger reasons that this might be calling to you. Um, so I'll go through the rest of this as I talk, but uh, I want to share first, I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Um, whoops, sorry about that. And just let you, oh my gosh, you guys, I I am so sorry. I just saw, this is hilarious. I have to go get my power cord. I am almost low on battery. One moment. I'm going to pause the recording. 
Um, so Mother Mary is actually going to be aligning with your energy, just so you can know her a little more deeply. The mother energy is coming through so, so like fiercely, I want to say, and so quickly. And many of us are are here to bring the mother light and a new version and understanding of mother God and our mother ancestry. And part of our work is working with others to help them understand that they also have a role in this. So that's what often comes up in Akashic Records readings. And she just wants you to know if you're sensing her presence and energy shifting, there's an offering right now that um, just know she's working with you if you're feeling it, like I'm especially feeling it in the throat, <clears throat> that um, you may, you, you are getting some kind of adjustment. And if you're curious, I can help you understand that more deeply when we dive into the Q and A. Um, but she um, is very keen to let you know that it's really about opening your heart to her light because she is one of the primary guides in this program. And um, she wants you to know that and to know her more deeply. So there is that. And I just kind of feel it. I feel it in the throat. I feel it throughout. So my body always shows me where the guides are working primarily. And um, we want you to know that. And, you know, overall, her messaging for this, this time and the reason we have this program is quite simply to know thyself. This mastery program is about helping you understand your biggest mystic gifts and how to use them, how to leverage them, how to strengthen them, even what they are for some of you, if you haven't really known, you know, that you're clairvoyant or clairsentient or that you have certain gifts of healing with your hands, for instance, or um, channeling abilities. It is first and foremost, a power like kickstart or kicker boost, I should say, to that ability and to really knowing it. One of my core gifts that I'm quite um, grateful for is that I help coach other mystics, other psychics, other intuitive healers to know themselves in this way because you all have those giftings. If you're here I'm pretty sure you know that, but so many of us are reticent to really leverage them, especially out in public. And that's something that I am, it's like my mission is to help my beloveds who I work with to have the courage and the knowing and the strength to really use your gifts. And the Alexandria Institute is based on that. It's a based on knowing how much we're loved and knowing how to really walk about the world as a powerful intuitive even if that even if it's like incognito it doesn't mean you have to wear um a name tag saying you are that or be on shows or anything like i do it it means that you know you're connected to a much higher power that that is so ever loving and that that you allow that love and that presence to guide your steps as you navigate as a human. And very often you're in the position of teaching others. So at the Institute, we are gonna be instilling a lot of other programming to help people walk the walk of, um, I mean, I say being mystically or psychically aware and connected, but it's almost like my my dearest dream is that that just is the normal. It's like, well, that's just how we are. We don't even have to call it a name. It's that we know that there are beings that walk with us and who show us a better, higher path. And 
you know, it's like you too can have that. You too can can leverage that, whether you're a high school principal or a CEO or an executive director of something, or uh, you work, you know, at a cash register or you work in service to others like this. So um, we will be having lots of different kind of support groups and communities that are going to be building over the next several years to really help people hone channeling and tapping into what is known as the Akashic Records. So let me explain how we um, think about the Akashic field. It's, it's that it's this unlimited, this place of unlimited potential and unlimited knowing where you know, a lot of different people will call it different things, the zero point reality or oneness, um, but it really is the realm where your knowledge and wisdom lie that's specific to you or the people that you work for. That's what I am guiding you in in this program. What is specific to you, your mission in this lifetime and in other lifetimes, your channel transmissions, because I'm being shown that so many of you have rather important knowledge to disseminate in the coming um, generation of being awakened. They're saying, they're calling it that. Mother Mary is calling it that. Like we are we're the ones who have set up a, a lifestyle of being aware and being connected. And many of you, if you're listening, I'm quite sure you have this, you have like a sole purpose or mission that is about disseminating certain, um, I'll call them like, she's calling them archeological artifacts from your Akashic database things that your soul knows from another realm or from other lifetimes that's ready to be channeled in. So that's that's the nature of the access and why we access the Akashic records in this way, because it's, it's so much about soul purpose and mission and knowing yourself. That's, that's really the underlying, um, point to all of it. So um, if you're brand new to the Akashic Records, each of us has a soul history for this lifetime and any other lifetimes that you've had. And what I see in readings these days is a massive collapsing of like all the lifetimes that aren't so relevant so that the ones that are highly relevant for this time of teaching, especially like lifetimes from Egypt or from mystic places like the Mayan civilization or cultures like that, ancient Greece. It's um, Egypt, uh, Mesopotamia, India, like a lot of lifetimes from these, these like mystic tradition lifetimes are coming to the forefront. What I call like collapsing what's in between and bringing it to the forefront, bringing it to this reality. And uh, I can explain that more if that doesn't make sense, but um, the activations that are part of this program, there's a, there's over 11 different activations. Basically, there's a whole set of recorded activations. And then every week when we meet, there will be attunements to your energy field to refine how you perceive yourself as a mystic. Um, and I'm gonna say largely, let me say, we're saying that this is for therapists because we work a lot with therapists, but it's also for clairvoyance, it's for um, readers, intuitives. We do have a heavy focus on therapy because um, that's a an area that the guides are keen to expand but even if you're not a therapist you're going to benefit from all of the teachings in this program in terms of working with someone like as in kind of a therapy or a reading session like what I do so I just want to clarify that and we'll be happy to answer any questions 
along those lines if they come up as well. Um, I do have a new book that will be part of this, this cohort. It's brand new. It's been brought in with Jennifer Smallwood, who's a psychotherapist. She's an EMDR expert consultant, and she is one of my previous graduates. And she's been um, working with the Akashic Records in her therapy setting for about a year and a half and having pretty amazing um, results with her clients. And so she's going to be teaching a whole module on how do you actually sit and work with someone and bring it in as a reader. And that coupled with lots and lots of practice um, this program is based on lots of practice doing readings so that by the time you finish, it's my job and my, you know, I'm on the hook in my mission that you know how to be very comfortable sitting with a, with other people or in a small group or sitting with people one-on-one -on -one in, in a setting like this or, or therapy setting and even if you don't formally do readings, you are kind of remotely tapped into the person or the people you're serving so that their highest goals are met. So for instance, even if you're like doing a circle group, you can tap into the Akashic Records prior to a circle and understand and get your own insights about what to focus on for the group. And for instance, that's what I did today. So that I know for all who might be listening live or in the recording, the wording and the messaging is for, is specific to that group. And that's a really powerful thing for any leader, even business leaders. I'm teaching business leaders how to use this methodology just in the workplace. Um, I shouldn't say just, but in the workplace, totally incognito, but setting a high vibration energy and understanding from the guides and loved ones of each of the people like coming into a meeting, what's going to be the most beneficial way to present, I mean, anything. It, it's, really, it's really grounded in leadership, whatever, in whatever way we're leading whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in groups and honing so that our languaging and our energy and the energy present in the room is life transforming as much as it can be life altering. So, you know, when you merge the heavenly and the earthly as a leader, as an intuitive, as a Reiki um, healer, as um, a psychic guide, it's it's really, really, really powerful. And that's why I love teaching this because this, this kind of work really changes lives. And I know, um, I know you all know that you've experienced it and you're part of that revolution of bringing paradise. I call it paradise. Some people call it heaven. I call it paradise, which is God's essence, the divine into the room and into the hearts of the people we're with and we work with. Um, so I've touched on a lot of the bullet points here. Um, one, one of the things also I want to touch on is community. This um, being in a cohort like this, this brings you naturally a community of other beloveds that really is profound and special and the like the partnerships and the brotherhood and sisterhood that that come about from being together weekly and practicing it's really 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 special and transformative for your life as well i mean there's friendships and soul partnerships that are forged that i just know will keep on expanding our community for the better. Some of um, a recent cohort that graduated last March has a strong community that is starting to um, do healings because one of the men has 
kind of taken ownership of leading a healing circle and I'm involved as a healer too. And we're figuring out ways to bring that to um, the Alexandria community more broadly, but it's stemming from the, the team, the group having realized their innate healing abilities and the power of being in a group. And um, it's really lovely. So that's just one example of um, what can come of the community. And um, ISIS, I should say, the Alexandria Institute is growing into um, an institute that has programming from other teachers as well as me. And so my programming is under the wings of ISIS umbrella. ISIS is um, my, my um, preeminent priestess guide, I guess you would say. And um, as you all know, Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene and Yeshua and Kuan Yin um, and the archangels, those are the primary guiding beings of this program and of my work. And there, then we work closely with the group called the Lords of the Akashic Records. And if you've learned from Linda Howe's book already, you would know that um, that's a, that's a, a group of beings that helps, uh, they're the librarians that um, guide, guide you and guide us. And um, it's also overlit by the seraphim angel realm. And so you can't help but continue to be uplifted when you're pretty constantly in the light of the of this way of accessing the akashic records it's it's high angel vibration high high guide vibration and um you really get to know your personal guides as well as these as new guides and and these that i have listed um it's my it's my job and my honor to help people really hone how do you discern and talk to and hear and see and understand the guides. That's one of the, I'd say one of the biggest benefits of, of doing this work because it's a, it's a pretty fast paced, accelerated, um, call it ascension, mm, uplifting, vibration changing way to really tap in. Um, I know with some of you, I've talked about doing tarot readings. It's that the same methodology can be used for reading tarot cards as well, I should add. And we could talk about that um, because when you heighten your connection with the guides and loved ones, I mean, you can basically do anything. You can be a talking channeling chef if you want to be or um, have a podcast that's you know of your choosing or anything else like it really lends itself to um, being tapped in on a con more and more and more continual basis I should say because practice really makes perfect um, and that might be one of the reasons a lot of you are here because you yearn for that more stable, continued um, connection with your guides and loved ones. So let me just see if I need to, um, I think I've kind of, oh, practice. Well, I've touched on that. Let me touch on the very, very basics. Um, we meet once a week. This cohort is meeting on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I will in the future, I'm not sure when, but I will have a morning class for, for like European um, time zones. And if you're interested in that, please shoot me an email letting me know that you'd be interested in that because it would be also based on interest because um, the time zones are always uh, a factor, but that that's available, that's going to be available just so you know. Um, the, but once a week gatherings, and then practice once a week with one or more people. And the practice times are gonna be um, 
subject to your availability and so that that timing can be um, managed and manageable for you. And then um, there are, there is an array of online videos that um, I would want you to a lot like at least two hours a week watching. So all in all, the commitment is about four, about five hours a week, I would say. Um, there are some books to read as well, which um, then adds to that. Uh, so, you know, six, six-ish hours a week. Um, sometimes it can be more if you feel like investing more, but the minimum is really like five to six hours a week to get what you need from the program. So I do want to be upfront about that. Um, you know, you get what you give, you get what you put into it. So those who really dive in, um, they get what they need and graduate in four months with a very heightened sense of self and this ability to um, really conduct readings for other people that's you know that's what i'm on the hook for so it's my job to make sure you master that and then and then also a knowing of other strengths and skills like whoa i really am a a hands-on like reiki healer i always thought maybe i was but i i really know i am now or um, wow, I'm starting to write channeled messages very quickly, like a lot from um, the archangels or what have you, or um, some people turn, you know, it's possible to accentuate your light language or any of your other mystic skills are going to be heightened through this kind of work. So that is, um, that's about the program. Let's see, what I'm gonna do is pause the recording for a moment. Um, I'm just gonna open it up. We have the gallery. Um, and if you have questions, let me see. Oh, there was a question in the chat. Let me open up the chat. Um, we have plenty of time. How, oh, Myrna, how long um, have I been teaching this Oh, how recognized is this? Um, well, I've been teaching this program probably it's it's going on like um five years. So I've had different cohorts um through those five years. So how how recognized is it? Well, you know, it's a mystic um academy. It's it's recognized like through the John Burgos community somewhat. Um, I'm not gonna, I, I don't know how recognized it is. It's not like, um, yeah, that's a good question. I'm not really sure how how recognized it is, except like, th especially through John Burgos's community, it's known. Um, yeah, that that's a good question. It's, it's, um, it's not the biggest out there. I mean, there are other mystery schools out there um, but but I will say, I don't know, I personally don't know of any other Akashic Records programs that are so focused on doing readings like this. So with the angelics that we work with and with Isis, I've not found like, I haven't found that blend and I have done some searching on that. Um, it's a unique blend with, um, let's say, the mystery school aspect with Isis and with the focus on bringing forth your Egyptian priestess or priest um, self from your records. There, there's a that's like fundamentally what sets this um, school, this academy teaching apart. Um, and it sets my work apart from a lot of others um, who work with the same guides, but it is very, um, what you'll find in all the attunements is um, we go like into the ethereal realm with Isis and in Egyptian temple, in, in it all the activations happen in Egyptian temples ethereally. So if anyone knows of, 
you know, of a program like that. I would love to know that's Akashic Records specific, but I, I haven't yet found that. I mean, there's others where Mother Mary and these guides are, um, are present and, and guiding for sure. The, the other thing that I'll say that's coming very rapidly, and some of you on this call I've talked to you about, is that there's like this quickening of um, like a lot of readings in the last six months have have shown some of you on this call and others have um, a deep and rich Essene ancestry in your in your other lifetimes that is coming forward and that is um, ready kind of, there's something powerful uh, that you're going to channel from those lives and from those times that we like that we need. And I, I have been seeing it, I'm going to be facilitating it. And it's, um, I frankly, I know there's other Essene teachings, but it's going to be a really powerful mix of that with the Egyptian. Um, it's not just Egyptian ancestry. It's it's Egyptian, like, mystic abilities. That's what, what we attune you in. So I, I know that that makes the Alexandria Institute quite unique, but... Um, it's going to grow and be much more recognized is what I'll say. But I have been teaching this for about five years. So, um, so go ahead and raise your hand or just unmute if you want to ask other questions. You don't have to type them in the chat. You can, or you can, I would love to just hear from, from anyone if you'd like to, um, if you do have questions. I hope you do otherwise <laughs> that maybe this has stirred something or maybe I've covered a lot of it <laughs> hi Sarah how you doing <laughs> good to see you what time is it down there <laughs> uh-oh Uh oh, she went away. Oh, there you are. Oh, shoot, I can't hear you. I know you're just unmuted, but. <laughs> Can I hear? I can't hear you, shoot. I don't know why. Okay. Um, shoot. Well, does anyone have any questions for me or Mother Mary? Um, I'll tap into Mother Mary a little bit while I wait to see. Um, um, one of the one of the keys she's showing is, you know, um, if you're here, if you're curious, you're your soul has done this before. This is not new to you. And I would encourage you to, to like, even, I know some of you actually already do some work within the Akashic records, but tune into your bodies right now and what is present within your systems and allow, allow yourself to feel like the presence of this knowing that this deep knowing that you're you have cultivated some very deep gifts already in other lifetimes and none of you are you might be new in this lifetime, but no one listening to this is new to this work. That's for sure. And feel kind of the, the depth in my voice when my voice gets very deep and I 
that's one way I know I'm just sharing that, that I'm speaking of a deep truth that nobody um, interested in this course is new in a, from a soul perspective. You all have deep uh, roots in not only facilitating, um, not only managing, it's, it's one thing to like participate in managing a soul's um, evolution. Everyone participates in that. But cultivating for um, for this timeline, um, your your souls have already cultivated for this timeline both deep skills and deep. There's an investment of knowledge and wisdom that um, is ready to be birthed through you. And that's very much going to be our work to um, unlock the help you unlock those mysteries. And, you know, it's been very relevant for me in the past like six months. It's like it is this time is very uh, different in that it's like it's go time for for this wisdom that you carry in your soul, in your heart, in your records that is in your being so um if that's stirring you if that's calling you then then you know pay attention if not this then some other way um bring that let that um come to fruition because it's it's part of your your bigger journey and over over numerous lifetimes not just this one like it's getting pretty exciting, even if it's, if it's kind of still hard, it's getting pretty exciting in terms of what's coming. Cause I keep getting lots of, I keep getting lots of visions in readings. That's like, wow, there's going to be some pretty earth, amazing in a good way, earth shattering kind of inner revolution and revelations. So just feel into that as one thing that Mary um, encourages you to uh, to do at this moment to help you know um, whether you want to join us um, because you know you'll know you will absolutely know if if this is um, like an ascension program that's helpful to you. Diane, did you have a question? You came on the screen. You you can, it's fine if you don't, but I just, since hi, you're- Susan. Hi, I just wanted to say hi. Um, it's curious to me that I'm on this call. I have all these books from the library. Uh -huh. on my cards. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And, um, and the Essenes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I have a Mary statue that someone sent me right here. And so this is, and an Isis Proprius that's in my uh, other room. So you're mentioning all these things that are literally surrounding me. And yet I'm not getting that I should be in this program. Okay. <laughs> Which is so weird. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, that might be the case. What what brought you here, though? To, what, why did you click on? To I'm watch? fascinated with the Akashic. I'm just learning about it. And I'm so interested. Yeah. Yeah. I'm interested in these scenes and all of this. I think I'm a mystic, but I don't know if this, I'm oh, not a therapist. Are, here, here. <laughs> um, you know, it's that's not it. It's just personally, I'm curious and want yeah. to know so I think I am sort of a mystic that's what excites me but I don't know if this is the program I'm not getting a yes so I'm just listening and maybe it'll come I don't know okay yeah I would say let it let it unfold that's a really good thing let me just say I mean <laughs> it's it that's a lot of serendipity let me say <laughs> that you have all that so I mean, pay attention. Um, you know, one of the things that's been coming up in readings is like, cause I, 
I frankly have been meeting a lot of, el I'm going to say elders. It has nothing to, it has something to do with age and status in life, like retirees um, who know there's something more. Let's say like, like a whole many of you, um, but even if that's not quite where you are in life, there's well, a that is, yeah, I am retired. Yeah. So that is where I am. Okay. So, so the thing is like, I've been doing a lot of readings that come out, like I'm just channeling the truth from above saying there's like, there's this whole new chapter waiting and, um, you know, that's why they came to the reading. It's like, well, there, there is more. What is it? I, it's, it's clear. There's like a high level service, um, for, that's that's coming. That's going to be available and made made real by spirit. Let me just say that. Like, they they've been, they know there's something more, and and spirit is gonna bring it to us. Is is very much the notion. And so, I might just suggest like. Diane, that might be a way to, to ask inwardly, like in meditation, like, it, am I, am I going to be brought into some other service that I don't know about? Cause, because, um, I'm, I'm ready if, if so, like, I think what I, what I know and what I have been told and what I'm seeing is like, we're not even we can't even fathom what's coming yeah change is coming rapidly and so myself included i mean i know it's like we've been doing things the same way for so long and it's going to change so i don't know if that's helpful but i think you might i guess the what i'm seeing is like sit in potentiality like is there is there more maybe just start asking is there more for me and would this would this augment or or help kind of even be a runway for that or a, a launching pad for that kind of thing yeah that's helpful Suzanne and I love you and I love your generosity um so I will sit with that and see yeah. if that something comes <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And, and for everyone listening to, if you're really not sh quite sure still, and you want to um, do a free one-on-one -on -one with me, um, that's on my available on my website under like this program, I should, I can paste the link in here. Let me put the link in the chat. Um, but there's a whole page. You can get to it from my homepage at SuzanneAlexandria.com. But the, it's a, it's for the next live Akashic Records program. And there's a, a place there where you can um, set up a free call to, to make sure or to answer any more questions and get a sense of um, of it. So, so, Diana, yeah, I guess I would say you're, I'm going to say you're going to know either way and set that intention. For anyone listening, you're going to know um, if this is right. It's always... I know that it's always like that, <laughs> you know, it's got to be a holy hell. Yes. Or, you know, maybe it'll be the next one. Cause I do teach these at least um, two or three times a year. So. Oh, good to know. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Anyone else? Hi, Joe. It's been a while since I've seen you. Nice to see you on here. <laughs> hello. Hello. Anyone else have a question? Sarah, can we hear you at all? What's that? Why is that not working? I wonder. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, <laughs> sorry, sister. Um, all right. Well, have I answered all the questions? Let me see. Guess we did a pretty good job. Um, um, there is something else from Isis 
Um, okay. If you all, if you all want to even just close your eyes and, um, and tune in, um, tune in. Isis is making her energy and self known and just allowing mm, a beautiful harmonization with her. If, um, if it's just like a, a mother, sister, goddess, guide connection. And just take a drink of this goddess Isis love in, whether you're joining or not, it's it, there's a call for holy, holy divine communion. And this divinely loving mother, mother priestess guide love pours, she pours, oh, like a, an ointment of love of love into she was saying into you like a whole like you are a holy sepulcher she just wants to leave you with the knowing that you're not alone and the knowing that you're loved and that this mother bringer of new life is always available to you through you with you You've walked many other incarnations with her, uh, with us, undoubtedly. We've had incarnations together, you and I and others in these various groups. It's not coincidence when we gather in these ways, in these schools. And um, regardless of that, she just wants you to know, oh gosh, her her adoration for the the work that you've done the time that you have um spent in preparation for whatever is coming and the honor that you bring yourself and the loved ones on high when you um even when you come into communion with us she says it's always it's what we're here for is to be in communion with you all and so regardless of what you know on this day or don't know when um two or more of us gather and that can be one up there and one down here she's saying when you lift up your countenance to her to her love her divinity and her uh her maternal instinct kicks in and brings she, she always endeavors that it brings you peace and um the feeling of oh of the compassion that surrounds you from the realm so while we talk a lot about logistics and, you know, gifts and technicalities in this work, in this education, in this life, it's remember that it's always about a restoration of the divine love, uh, connection and communion, that you are uh a holy sepulcher and that you deserve to be uplifted and filled to, to overflowing. And if you'll just allow yourself to be, be filled back up um, wherever there's a a need of divine love outpouring into something in your life would you 
um, allow us to tend to that now that we may fill with light in your hearts, in your lives, in your relationships, in your bodies. At this time, let, let yourself receive a benevolent outpouring of grace because we know what it's like on earth right now. We know the pain. We know the suffering. We know the query that you're in. And if you'll just allow for a, for a time, all the power vested in me, she says, is is made better when it reaches one or many more or many of you. Uh, and I just feel that it's like, let your cup be overflowing, your body be filled right now with, with her divinity. The Holy Spirit in me, she says, is, is uh, replenished by the Holy Spirit. And shines unto your, your Holy Spirit. And it's this gorgeous dance and interplay. What a beautiful allowance. Just spend a few more moments allowing this in. Her love touches um, us all. And when her love, meaning her, the goddess Isis, and the Sophia Christ love, when her love can be felt so deeply by you, it, it, un, it unearths a magical outpouring on the planet. And even by just receiving this right now, no, the ripple effect is mm, just as we're feeling it, it's being felt in the in the community of hearts that are open to it. And ultimately, that is why we do this work. Because there is a calling for this. She will teach you, she will guide you, she will love you, she will show you the path of, of, the, of the high priestess or priest, no matter, regardless of whether you do the program or not. But in this program, it's about opening to the love of the beloved period. We wanted to make that very, very, very coherent and help you ascertain whether, well, which calling is right for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Isis. Thank you. This mother we are bringing the mother's light and love through, there is no doubt. And 
So it's been my honor to to share this this evening. Um, it's been just about one hour, just on time. But if there's any other question, I would be happy to answer anything. Um, I think we've given a good synopsis of this. If you're ready, you can sign up on that link. Um, I should add there's a pay in full. Um, you can save 10% if you pay in full to register. Um, email me for the link if you don't see it there. Um, for the link to the pay in full. If you still have questions, you can still sign up for a 30 or a 20 minute discovery call or email me with questions. I should put my email. It's just easy, Suzanne at SuzanneAlexandria.com. And whoops. Um, yeah, there's still another few couple of weeks for this um for this cohort. And um I'd love to see you there if it's for you. Thank you all. I think um I don't see any other any other questions. So I will, I will see you when I see you. Hi Catherine. It's so beautiful to see your face. Hi Joe. Sarah, thank you for being on. I don't know what time it is down there, but <laughs> I'm trusting you. It's not the middle of the night. <laughs> Good. Okay. I would love to have you join if this is right for you. Um, either way, we just got such a beautiful outpouring of love. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Isis is a powerful force. And I, I feel like, um, I feel like her, the world is ready for more of that kind of love now. And that's what we're bringing. So it's a powerful mission for sure. All right. Mm, thank you all. I'll see you soon. It's beautiful to see everyone. Take good care.